We look at the wealthiest people in America today, Warren Buffett, uh, Michael uh, Dell, uh, of course, Bill Gates, Paul Allen, and the um, Walton family, all first-generation multi-billionaires. And the wonderful thing is, is if you do what other successful people do, you eventually get the same result that they do. There are many ways to get the things that we want for ourselves in our lives. But basically, it all begins with how we choose to think. If you really want to get lasting change, real results that stick around, what do you got to do? If you want lasting change, you've got to give up this idea of trying something. You got to decide you're going to commit to mastery. Most people dabble. They, they talk about, well, I'd like to change my body. I'd like to change, make my relationship better. I'd like to have more passion there, but they don't know what to do. And even if they did, they don't have enough detail to be able to follow through. If we want to achieve another result that we've never achieved before, then we have to become somebody different. We have to upgrade our skills. We have to upgrade our behaviors. We have to um, master our emotions better. Self-made millionaires have been studied exhaustively. They've been analyzed. They've been interviewed by the hundreds of thousands and millions. And what we know is exactly who they are and what they do and how they think. And the wonderful thing is, is if you do what other successful people do, you eventually get the same result that they do. Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it which means that you're never given a dream that comes out of your own desire place that isn't something you have the capacity to fulfill. You may have to learn some new skills, you may have to partner up with some people, you may need to learn some, you know, how to access some new resources along the way, but all of that is possible if you'll simply dream the big dream. Have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. One of the central principles of my life is that no one knows enough to be a pessimist about anything. And that each and every one of us, when we close our mind to what is possible for us or what is possible for humanity, closes off the genius that resides and lives in each and every one of us. Decide what you want. You can't get from here to there unless you know where here is and there is. So if you're going to decide what you want, go for what you want, not what you think is possible. Most people hone down their dream because they can't see how they can do it. And I'm saying to you, dream as big as you want. In fact, big dreams are exciting. Big dreams attract big people. I had a teacher named Jim Rohn. He was a personal development speaker. And I remember I was really frustrated and I'd been working my guts out 12, 14 hour days, nothing was working. And I was pissed off and I was frustrated. And he said, Tony, he said, you're so focused on expecting things to happen so fast. And he said, you know, if you really focus instead on building your skills, your gifts will make room for you. Today, people have no patience. We all want it right now. And people don't only not commit to mastery, they think they have all the answers, they try a few things, if it doesn't work, they run to something else. If you want a great jump in the quality of your life, an extraordinary jump in the quality of your life, you gotta set yourself up to win. You gotta set yourself up with a process that allows you to consistently grow, consistently enjoy your life, and consistently produce the results that you're really after. Success is, is very simple. If you have a clear goal, make a plan to achieve it, and then do something, at least one thing each day. It moves you one step closer to your most important goal. Progress equals happiness. If you're growing in anything, financially, spiritually, emotionally, in your relationship, your body, you're going to feel better in your life. That's what we're made for. And I think we're meant to grow so we have something to give. You know, you can't give something you really don't have. Form good habits and make them your masters. Most people are interested. They're not committed. And the difference is when you're interested, you do what's convenient and what's easy. When you're committed, you do whatever it takes. When you're interested, you do what's easy and what's convenient for you. But when you're committed, I'm going to get that result. You put everything into it until you get the result. You got to get going. You got to take action. The disciplines is the miracle process. And here's how to get the miracle of your future going as far as disciplines are concerned. Number one, do what you can. 
Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of life change. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in picking up the ideas. Don't be lazy in learning from your own experience. How many times have you had a great idea, didn't do anything about it, and then a year later someone did something about it, made a lot of money, got the promotion, etc. So when you have the idea, the inspiration to act, it's time. Act. You don't have to know it perfectly. I am strength, I am wise, and I am passion. If you decide you're going to do something, do it. You know, they've done dozens and dozens of studies over the years. They find that there's one major difference between successful people and unsuccessful people. And successful people launch, they start, they get on with it, they just do it. Unsuccessful people get the same ideas and the same information, but they've always got an excuse for not starting. If you have a big enough reason why you want to achieve something, you'll do whatever it takes. But if your reason isn't big enough, your excuses will be. And one of the things that we kind of believe and hang on to and, and live with is this whole idea that uh, all of the things that happened to me in my past are what are keeping me from doing what I'd like to do today. So we hang on to these things and we fill ourselves with blame. Because life is not so simple and black and white. My mother beat the shit out of me. She loved me. She was freaked out I was going to leave. I was her source of everything. I blame her for all the beauty in my life. I blame her that I have the woman I have in my life because I cherish my wife because I know what the opposite is. I blame her for the capacity to feel and care. I blame her for my insatiable hunger to end suffering for any human I can because I suffered a ton. Get emotionally fit by learning to trade what upsets you which is your expectations that aren't being met. Trade your expectations for appreciation for what you do have. Your whole life changes in a moment because our expectations make us pissed off or frustrated or worried or sad. And we all have them and I have them too. But when they come up, I just remind myself, look, this is just my mind. I'm more than this mind. I got a heart and soul. What can I appreciate? How can I use this challenge to go to a deeper level? And that's the only way we get free. The only way to have a great life is decide I'm gonna find beauty in anything that happens in my life. I'm sure if you look back on your life, most of us have had experiences where, you know, something horrible happens, something you never wanna go through again in your lifetime. But at the same time, you know that five, 10 years later, you look back and go, I would never wanna go through it. I would never want anybody I care about to go through that. But I'm glad I did, because it made me so strong to deal with that. When you change, the way you look at things, the things you look at change. What makes us suffer is our thoughts, right? We're the only creatures on earth that can have thoughts and then make ourselves feel like shit or have thoughts and make ourselves feel good. And most people don't master their minds. And so their minds go crazy and we believe our thoughts. We believe that if this doesn't happen, our lives are gonna be so stressed or over. And most of it is just bullshit. The mind is looking for what's wrong. Your heart can change all that. If you decide today, and if this is all I got across in this piece and I actually reached you, is for you to decide that I'm 100% responsible for the experience of my life and that anything can happen. I am bigger than the moment. I am more than anything can happen to me and I can find a way to find something beautiful, something helpful, something, you know, enjoyable. Change your thoughts and you change your world. Change your expectations and you change around what you begin to manifest and see showing up in your life. I'm not asking you to stop blaming. I'm saying blame elegantly, blame intelligently, blame effectively. Blame at the level of your soul, not the level of your head. No more blame. I'm just not going to assign responsibility to other people for where I am because now I have an opportunity to get rid of it. If I think someone else caused it, then I've got to wait for somebody else to change in order for me to get rid of it, and you might wait forever for that. But if I take responsibility for it, I can do something.